In this video, we're going to look at how we can quickly navigate a document. So if I start by creating a shape, let's make it interesting. Double star. There we go. Let's make a, oh, that's a weird one. Goodness me. Right. Let's make a star. We probably best make it some sort of yellow color. Now to zoom in and out, you can press command or control plus or minus on the keyboard like so. Now there are other tools as well. You can see mine don't fit on the screen, so they are buried here. We've got the view tool, which is the hand. We can click this and we can pan around. Now I never used this tool in Illustrator because I just hold down spacebar. That is the keyboard shortcut to get to it. So holding spacebar, clicking and dragging much faster in my opinion. Something else we can also do is if you do have a trackpad, so I'm on a MacBook Pro at the moment, you can hold down alt or option and then do this. And then with two fingers on the trackpad, you can swipe up and down to zoom in or out to specific points. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see I've got all kinds of lost. So to recenter the artboard and have it fill the entire screen, just press command or control zero. Now, if you do want to view your document at its native size, you can press command or control one. And there we go. This is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that looks about right to me. And we do have some more options up here under the view menu. So there we go. We've got some more keyboard shortcuts to zoom to different percentages and different widths or zoom to the selection. So this one here, command or control shift zero. So let's try that. And there you go. You can see that it fills the screen with the selection and centers it. So if you need to jump to a specific element and work on it, that's really useful. Oh, this is really useful as well. So these are different views. So at the moment I'm viewing in vector. We can of course switch to pixels. We covered that in a previous lesson, but this one here, wireframe is going to be very useful. So we can change this to outline and this is the same keyboard shortcut as in illustrator. So if I choose outline, you can see I've got last used there as well. So we'll switch to outline and this is effectively a styleless wireframe preview. So this is great for stripping out all the color and style. You can work on the raw geometry of a shape. And then once you're happy and you want to come back to the full color mode, just press command or control Y and it will take you out of that outline mode. So it works exactly the same as Illustrator, which makes it a lot easier to remember. And then lastly, we have the zoom tool, which is Z on the keyboard or Z for my American friends. So we can click this and we do have scrubby zoom as well. Now we've got a few options up here. We've got a slider. I'm probably never ever going to use this because I just find it much easier to click and drag and zoom in. So you can click, 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 hold alt or option, and then click, click, click to zoom out. But I do love scrubby zoom. Took me a while to get used to it, but what I can do is I can command or control zero to fit that to the screen. I can zoom in, do a bit of work, zoom out, zoom up here, work on this thing, command or control zero. So once you employ all of these different navigation tactics and keyboard shortcuts, it can make navigating a document very quick and easy.